Hi, this is Dean of Dean's Cards. Every other week we send out a hobby newsletter that uh, includes information on collecting news, vintage card news, uh, memorabilia news, so on and so forth. We have a player of the week and we feature a vintage card set. This week we're going to fe feature the 1939 Playball that's celebrating its 70th anniversary. We bought this set this week and this is a 39 play ball and the gentleman that sold us this set originally collected it several years ago I think he was getting up in age a little bit and wanted to liquidate his collection but it's a very clean set, very nice um, at the time he had all the cards and he traded the 39 play ball DiMaggio for a 38 Gaudi heads up DiMaggio which was a pretty good trade on his part the um, 38 DiMaggio is worth a good bit more money. But as you can see, this set's very uh, very attractive, and it came to us in this binder. A few of the cards out so you can get a closer look at them. You can see this is a really nice set. Um, yeah, one of the things you'll see is the inconsistency in some of the cards, where some of these, uh, here's Red Ruffing, a Hall of Famer. Um, probably This is probably average to the set. Um, probably an excellent condition card. But some of these are really nice. Um, it's kind of interesting how that played out. Um, you know, usually when you find a set like this, a lot of times the star cards will be in worse condition than the um, uh, common players, just because of um, their um, popularity with the kids at the time. This one's of Luke Sewell, uh, caught in the big leagues for almost 20 years. The set has a lot of Reds in it, uh, Yankees in it, because they were the two better teams of the era. That's uh, Frank McCormick. There's a beautiful Hank Greenberg card. You can look at that. And, I mean, that would grade out really nice. Uh, that's probably near men on a bad day. That's a nice-looking card. Uh, here's Leo DeRocher. Uh, you can see this. Um, then you got Dizzy Dean here, who's pretty beat up. Usually when you see the cards like this, that when the stars are in worse condition than the um, commons, usually means the set was put together at a later date. I think the guy told me that this was put together in the 70s or the 80s, and that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, two reasons. The stars were better handled, um, but they were also more expensive to buy, so you tend to buy them in the other conditions. But you can really see that some of these cards are pretty nice. I mean, that is... Uh, I don't know what the fault would be with this card here. Perfectly centered. Uh, who is that? Emerson Dickman, pitcher for the Red Sox. But uh, boy, that's a nice looking card. Okay, here's uh, Bill Dickey. 39 was the first year for play ball. They um, put sets out for three years, and this was probably the most basic set. It's just pretty standard. Here's Mo Berg, more famous for what he did off the field than on the field. He was a spy during World War II. I think the guy spoke five languages. And 39 Play Ball is kind of fun because it you know, has some unique cards here. Uh, there's an umpire card and a uh, clown of the game card. Um, here's that DiMaggio card that we were talking about. The heads up, 38 heads up. I don't know if you've seen that before. That's fairly rare. We don't get too many of these in here at all. And then uh, there's uh, Ted Williams' card. That's a, Boy, that's a nice-looking card. Uh, take another minute and just talk about uh, talk about the set a little bit. In case you've never... A lot of times we'll get questions about um, a reprint and um, what's the difference between the reprints and the original. And here you can see a reprint side-by-side. Side. It's lighter. Uh, picture's more grainy. You can probably see that. It does say reprint on the back, but it's uh, much whiter on the back. So they're not that hard to tell apart. Um, we sell quite a few reprint sets, so you know if you were to buy this play ball set intact, it probably cost you somewhere between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. If you don't have that laying around, you might want to spend uh, one hundred and ten or one hundred and twelve and uh, get you a nice reprint set. But uh, just a few highlights of the set. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, that about does it for nineteen thirty nine play ball. Uh, these cards are now online and ready to buy. So if any of this interests you. Um, just uh, click on the link and go there, and we also have the reprint sets. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you have any uh, comments or suggestions on how to make any of our services better, you know, our blogs, our newsletters, our YouTubes, our site, or our customer service, please let me know.
We greatly appreciate your business. Have a great day.